I'm a consultant at Maddox and I work in the regulation and administrative law group and I specialise in the design, the um, implementation of regulatory frameworks and we do a lot of work with regulators at the Commonwealth, state and local government level. So deregulation in essence is about reducing or removing compliance burden. So the premise underlying the deregulation agenda is that sometimes areas can be overregulated. in some cases regulation may be unnecessary, sometimes regulation is inefficient. And the objective underlying the deregulation agenda is to reduce the compliance burden with the intention of driving innovation, enhancing competition, enhancing efficiency uh, and really promoting productivity. That is the objective or the primary objective of the deregulation agenda. Well, risk-based regulation is another imperative that's on the regulation agenda at the moment. And risk-based regulation is essentially about regulators fo focusing their resources and their energies in areas where the risks are greatest. L relatively low risk areas don't warrant the same level of attention. And the premise underlying a, ris a risk-based approach to regulation is that Government departments, regulators have limited resources. They cannot practically address all instances of non-compliance. Mm -hmm. And so it's reasonable for them to focus their energies in areas where the risks are greatest and really leave to the side or dedicate fewer resources to areas where the risks are relatively low. So deregulation, as we've already discussed, is all about reducing compliance burden. And typically, the compliance burden will be greatest where the risks are greatest. Mm -hmm. Risk-based regulation, on the other hand, is about focusing energies on areas where the risks are greatest. And typically, the compliance burden will be highest where the risks are greatest. So you can see the tension between the two imperatives. Deregulation strives to reduce compliance burden in areas which are typically high risk areas, whereas risk-based regulation, risk-based approaches to regulation suggest that regulators should be focusing their energies on, on that area. So they actually pull in, in different directions and dictate different outcomes. And well, the tension between the deregulation agenda and risk-based uh, approaches to regulation um, is, is quite important presently because both imperatives are reflected in a number of different initiatives, most recently in the new performance framework which has been released in draft in September of, of this year, which basically um, encourages regulators to re reduce compliance burden, um, i.e. this is uh, supportive of the deregulation agenda, but there's also a reference to the need to adopt a risk-based approach to regulation. So this is an instance where both regulatory imperatives have been referred to in the one context, and that is why the tension between the two needs to be acknowledged, uh, recognised and potentially reconciled. In terms of moving forward, I think the most important thing to do is to recognise that deregulation and risk-based approaches to regulation don't strive to do the same thing. Deregulation is about reducing the compliance burden and risk-based approaches to regulation are about efficient allocation of resources to ensure that a regulator's or a government department's resources are really being placed in areas of high risk because of the limitation on resources that might be available.